Hello everyone, and welcome to another Manga Town plays some chess. We're playing a fun one today, a pretty interesting one that I hope goes well. I know I'll, luckily they tell us where the pieces move, but it's called Singularity Chess, it's on a different board. Um, yes. I'm playing here with Manga Town Matt, who's on the audio call. Uh, okay, yeah, this one is interesting. For, for whatever reason, I, I was remembering Singularity Chess is the one where you just have two rows of pawns. <laughs> okay, so that's, I'll show you what we got. So this is the board, what looks like. Here are the rules, so rook and bishops. Um... It gets pretty crazy. It's almost um, like bush, bishops and rooks in this variant, I feel like almost switch roles. I mean, you can do some, you can do some, uh, like diagonal stuff with bishops, but, mm -hmm. uh, there's some crazy stuff with, with rooks as well. Yeah. Queens are crazy. Uh, I don't know. I think Alma and I, when we played this, we both lost <laughs> our queen, like, just traded it. like yeah. five moves. So, okay. So rook. Yeah, so a rook moves in the other direction means that when a rook arrives on a field, it will leave on its opposite side. It means that a rook turns back in the middle of the board, which is right here, um, and arrives on the same side. The middle fields of the rook. Uh, it's hard with words. It's much easier just to yeah. visualize it. And that means that when a bishop arrives on a field, it will leave it on the opposite corner. Okay, that, that's good. Yeah, that makes sense. Bends around the middle, so it can't. So it can't bend around the middle. Okay. On circular chess, you can't make a move that. Oh, that's a weird. I've uh, seen the bishop move through the middle. Yeah. That, okay, that's gonna be one to think about. Uh, why is it? Yeah, that so, one. That, yeah, that last it, one's the one that weirds me out. Why does it change color? Because it goes to those white ones. I would think it would go down this way. Because, yeah, it shouldn't change color, I don't think. Bishop can reach some fields from two different directions at the same time. When Bishop says. Alright, let's just start this. Yes. Uh, also, I want to just warn you um, that if you move either of your pawns, if you move C t C10 or E10, and I also move. C2 or E2, we will both lose our queen very quickly. Because the queen can just I think that's, take the queen. I think that's one one downside of the way that they set this variant up. But overall, I enjoy it. More more definitely than, than like that weird figure eight one that we played, where we were like, how did I lose that piece? <laughs> <laughs> the infinity chess? Yeah. I think, well, that one made sense to me, at least, where they moved. More, That's true. This more one is kind of weird. I'm kind of confused on why a bishop on h6 could move to a6. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what I was saying with, uh, with like, it's almost like the bishops turn into rooks at a certain point as well. Uh, but you know what? It might be it might be that it spirals into the middle and then goes out the opposite direction. Oh. So it means when a bishop arrives on a field, it will leave the opposite corner. So if it starts here, it will leave the opposite corner. Are you ready to do that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you can. You yeah. can... All right. Let's, uh... So if it arrives here, wouldn't it leave one of these opposite corners? Okay, so the corner. Yes. Oh, okay, so if these were squares, if this was a square, the opposite corner would be, I don't know, okay. So that bishop can attack b10, isn't that correct? Yeah, I believe so.
I feel it's more going to be whoever accidentally loses their piece more than than actual strategy, maybe. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was interesting. I think when Alma and I played this, like the first third or so of the game, it looked like she was going to win, and then I think I was able to make a comeback. Yeah, I was able to win for whatever reason in the last. Yeah, I remember I, your, he, I remember seeing your rook move and it taking a piece, and it was just like, oh, that was weird. Yeah. But. Yeah, I think, uh, honestly, I think the board at, at first is a little bit crowded, and I think once it opens up a little bit, so it's rooks, like, oh. Yeah, rooks can move in circles, can't they? So for rook. Oh, no. Yeah, so I would think. Uh, so say I had a rook on G G six G. Uh huh. Like G6, that center right. Where, where that pawn is. Uh okay. I would think it could go to to the left, that big white one on H six, and then I would think it would go to G six instead of G two. But it goes to G two. Yeah, it does some pretty crazy. I don't think stuff. it goes around in the circle instead of. But I don't know. Okay. If you if you can get your if you can get your your rook to the back row though, it's yeah. disastrous. I go to have this one. Hold on. Yeah. Open up lines to get my queen taken somehow. I also had, uh, you should go back and watch one of your stream videos. Oh, yeah? Uh, just because I think you, like, might start talking before it catches up on stuff. Yeah, you mentioned that last week. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, be, uh, I'll be mindful of that tomorrow when we... Do you know if, uh, I don't know. Think about pawns. Pawns should be able to attack the next diagonal. So those, your pawns on your left, at A, B, and C, they're all guarding each other, aren't they? Besides the, and your rooks guarding the A one. Yeah, something like that. But also, it's weird to me. It's weird to me that pawns, to to some extent, can just attack across. I mean, I understand why because of the black squares, but visually, it's like ooh. I guess I'll go with that. That didn't open up me into anything. So rook. Yeah, he's right there. No, I don't think he can do some good things. Knight. Okay, that's odd. If that's tagging my pawn or not, but my knight. Yeah, it's not. I can hit the white square to the left and the white square in front of that yeah. pawn. Yeah, because it shows me. But one of them might be attacking. I guess I can attack the one. In... Oh, I can attack the dark squares actually. 
an attack yeah. dark square in front of me and beside me. The one in the middle and yeah. the one kind of right by your rook. I think I'd be able to attack that one. That seems. I guess it is diagonal. Okay. It's kind of make that diagonal. Okay. That move. Yeah, I think the only thing that's difficult about uh, about the boards that are kind of weird like this is that it's not always a a logical. Visually, it's not always logical. Yeah. So it's hard sometimes to think ahead. Two, three, four moves. Well, I mean, I would, uh, maybe not logical, but it's not. I would say not familiar. I mean, I think it is a yeah. lot. I mean. Yeah, I'd say it's logical. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's definitely yeah difficult to see moves ahead. Yeah, definitely. I'm more just trying to guard things and make sure when I move things, it's not just a free piece. Yeah, because it seems like a good app. Those are magpies. I don't know if you hear them. Uh, kind of, but I mean, it's not, I can't move there. Yeah, have you guys been getting like wild amounts of rain? Yeah, but it just stopped, I think. Or it's, yeah, like today hasn't been raining. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't realize that. I think he could have taken that pawn for free the last one, the last move. Because if you took that oh, pawn... yeah, I could have. Yeah, then I would retake my bishop. Oh. 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 Yeah, can you imagine how much harder this would be if they uh, if they didn't show you all the places you could possibly move? <laughs> yeah. And you had to be like, uh, here? And it would be like, nah. That was the cannon. They uh they shoot off the cannon when it's time for Iftar, which is the evening meal during Ramadan. Hmm. That's not like a Muslim thing though, that's just like a Sarajevo thing. So you got a knight for a pawn. You're up a knight. Pretty boy. 
what's going on in the world, Travis. Uh, I don't know. I... I don't know. I'm doing... I don't know. I'm, you know, just trying to make daily improvements, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. slow cool Can your bomb take that? No, it cannot. Okay, okay, this kind of makes sense. So the pawn can move diagonally to the left. So like my pawn that's in the middle can attack one square to the to your right, to my left. So that means it's a diagonal motion to this board. So that means, I mean, that makes sense why that would be a diagonal, but mm. I kind of want to like flatten this out and reshape it to make C. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. One thing that I think that would also be helpful, especially since it's it's got like the diagonal spiral going on, is if they did something with uh with like colored tiles, where where it, you could show where like which way the spiral went. What's the stuff been up like for you? Yeah, not too much. I'm just trying to get trying to get interviews and job stuff kind of locked down for next year. But it's turning it into like so I've been looking looking at a couple of different countries just because I could make more or less what I would make in America, but like tax free and they pay for housing and they pay for medical insurance. <laughs> they pay for flights and stuff. Yeah, and uh, I mean that's a, it's a possibility. We'll see what happens. Um, but it's they'll be like, yeah, could uh, could you do an interview at three a.m.? <laughs> and I'll be like, what? How about no? <clears throat> tricky, tricky, tricky.
So you have a bishop and a knight. Oh no, you're you have a knight, but then you have a bishop and a rook. Which actually, actually, probably is just yeah, because having a bishop and a rook on this board would probably be better than having two rooks, just because you have to keep checking what each one of them does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm expecting that one. If I move to, uh, if I take your your rook that's right in front of me, can you attack that with that pawn? You um, can, right? I believe so. Okay. Tricky, tricky, tricky.
Yep. That'll fuck you every time. Yes, indeed. You could have taken with Rook, and I did not see how, but you could have. Oh, weird. Well, so much for that game. Just because I want to do this move. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I should put my rook one back. Uh, Okay. I thought I had you there. You almost did. Only other thing, my only other complaint about uh, this website with how it shows what you can do with your pieces is that like some of these variants are so complicated that sometimes you really need to be able to click on the pieces. To see like what what is an actual possibility. You know, yeah. The guy, you can like write suggestions to the person. They do. Oh, awesome. That's a pretty good job. Because like sometimes you click on the piece and it'll show you where you can move, but it won't show you where, you, where it could attack. But like for a variant that you're super unfamiliar with or that's brand new to you, it would be, it would be a, a benefit, I think. It'd be nice, I think, if you could uh, like turn it on, turn it off sort of thing. Mm-hmm. It says this is guarded by my okay, no, it doesn't. Ah, uh, what is checkmate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is checkmate, Josh? 
quite the philosopher you are. Check. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're, still, you're still on peace out, technically. I mean, if you, if, you, if you could make the argument that... Am I, am I in check right now? I don't believe so. Okay. if it's the right move or not. Let's go with that one first. Because how you know it's the right move, you ask. <laughs> Will I have fun with my bud? <laughs> the <answer is> yes. <laughs> it's the right move. <laughs> Dang, Travis. <laughs> Can't believe I just gave I gave him my cleanup for a night. <clears throat> Sometimes. True, true. But I'm taking these pawns. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that.
See if I can. I know I deal with King of the Rook, but I, on this board. Oh, okay. Thanks. If for whatever reason, it wouldn't let me take your pop. Uh -huh, that's why. I don't know if there's really anything I can do to win at this point. Oh, yeah, of course. Not, not at this point. This, yeah, this would be the, the game of the day. The stuff you can do with your rook right now is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the yeah the pawns on the outside of the board can no. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> All right. Well, still got the rook. As long as I don't blunder this in a stupid way. <sighs> I guess. Honestly, I'm surprised that we made it <laughs> to this point. People just coming in the chat. Cog whistle. Some other names I haven't seen. I don't know if I can check you in an inner ring just as much as I or like with the rook and king, just as much I could check you on an outer. I don't know. I think, I think the only thing that might get in your way is the... Let's find out. Um, but I think the only thing that might get in your way is the fact that you might not be able to move your king in close enough. Hmm. Maybe that. This is, move I can't move my rook in yeah I think I think it might just be no a rook and a king is a force checkmate in the end game I mean I I need to it's definitely tougher like it, it takes a lot of moves on a regular board so you just gotta keep moving it the king back yeah. to uh... Yeah, I wish I had a bishop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs>
Sure. Okay, I think I got a plan here. See if I can derail it. It's a dog that lives across the street in the cage. Excellent game. <laughs> That's so disappointing. But a good game, yes, oh, of course. Yeah, I almost feel like that sometimes that could be more rewarding. Because it means, it, yeah, because it means you both had to have really good games to get down to the point where yeah, nobody yeah. has any pieces left. Yeah, that's true. Excellent. We'll have to play again on this one. Absolutely. Thanks for everyone who watched. And enjoyed it this has been singular chess definitely a lot of blunders from both sides because we yeah but it was fun overall yeah lots of fun for both sides thanks we for almost made it to 69 whole moves <laughs> thanks for watching everyone and see you next time see you next time